For over a decade, Lotus Music and Dance has been the gathering place for New York's master performers and teachers of traditional dance and music. Arthur Mitchell, founder of the Dance Theater of Harlem, says, As the world gets smaller, we find that we must know about other cultures. And the arts are the most wonderful thing to do that. And that's what's so exciting about being at Lotus. From the busy street through the magic portal of the Lotus Studios, you become transformed. Through performances at Lotus Studios, as well as outside locations throughout the year, our master performers present the full flowering of their traditions. And today we're living in a world here in New York City uh, where I think people are gradually recognizing that the United States as a country and New York as a city is a large, multifaceted global community. And if we are going to move forward into the 21st century, we are going to have to understand the different cultures that surround us, both here and around the world. And when I first went to Lotus, was, I was amazed at how beautiful uh, the performance was and how more people should see this. When you go to Lotus and you see the different performances, you learn about what the dance performances are about what they represent, because each tells a story. Lotus brings together different traditions, dance and music traditions, and offers an opportunity, a place where people can share those experiences, see what commonalities there are in their dance forms and music. Every Lotus performer is also a master teacher, training dancers and musicians of all ages to preserve and extend ancient traditions. I've danced all my life since I was four years old, so dancing has been um, a very integral part of my life. It's probably the main focus of my life. Lotus creates a context that allows the teacher um, the freedom and the, the space to be able to do their work really well and our work here really is to train to educate and to share both the cultural similarities and differences represented here so you can go to an indian dance class and then you can go watch some children do flamenco and then you can suddenly find yourself in burma and there's this quality uh an evenness and equality amongst all of our different forms that lotus provides There's an increasing demand for multicultural studies on all levels of education, and that's because new standards in education require that all students are exposed to multicultural studies in the arts. The children that have been having difficulty with learning um, now seem to be more willing to take risks um, because through the dance, they've been able to experience some success. I see children blossom in a way that astounds me. One little boy who had been relatively nondescript in the classes, he was beaming, and the smile was on his face, and he was dancing his heart out. And he was so proud of what he was able to do. We've also incorporated a writing component so that children are able to write about their experiences with the dance and with the arts. And as a result, their writing has become better, and children who know how to write know how to read, so their reading has become better. And we keep going up and up and up. There is a need for professional development for both artists and for teachers, so we brought Doreen Nelson into the school who's an expert in design methods to work with the teachers and the performing artists to use the latest methodologies for infusing arts into the curriculum. Finding common roots across cultures, Lotus performer teachers connect the languages of their art in electrifying new forms. Artists today who are doing these forms um, feel inspired by the fact that there is a similarity between themselves and the other forms. In 
India, Burma, and China are neighbors, and their trade brought cultural exchange. The gypsies of North India traveled through the Middle East and into Spain and influenced the culture there. They find those connections themselves automatically just by being around each other. And it creates this kind of family feeling amongst the artists that they have a lot in common. But Lotus also honors the traditions of our own land. With the generous support from the Lila Wallace Swedish Digest Fund, Lotus was able to reconnect the traditional Mohawk singers and dancers and Elder Tom Porter with the Native American community that lives here in the tri-state area. In Mohawk, we say, that means our mind is all agreed the same, like it's one mind. So preserving these cultu this cultural heritage and keeping it alive is really what our focus is. Be like the beautiful flower, blossom everywhere. Go visit Lotus. As Lotus dancers acknowledge the applause and bid farewell, they know it is only a beginning where tradition and innovation meet. It's better than watching TV. What is? Dancing.